and welcome to Northgate. Thank you for joining us this evening. It's really lovely to see so many of you here in such a packed hall. My name is Zoe Galley. And my name is Duncan Hope. We're both the heads of Northgate High School, Deerham Sixth Form College and the Deerham Soccer Academy. This part of the evening, I'm sure you'll be keen to find out, is at only 30 minutes maximum, okay, promise. Um, it's going to include a brief introduction from our CEO, Dean Hamley, a few words from us, but most importantly, you'll hear from our pupils, because we truly believe they're in the best place to tell you what their school is really like. But just before we get started, there are a few housekeeping points we need to go through. We're not expecting a fire alarm this evening, so if you do hear it, please do make your way from whichever building you're in at the time to the front of the school that you came in as you entered the hall. Toilets are just out to the left of the hall up there, um, and refreshments are available in the canteen. We do know, Year Sixers, that the, uh, the law of a high school canteen is very appealing for the sausage rolls and the pizzas and all the rest of it, so please do sample our wares through there, um, with a warning that it will be closed between 6.40 and 7.30 when the second speech will be taking place. Okay, um, I'm going off script slightly. Year six is just be careful. Everything you buy in the canteen, your parents can see on the computer at home. Um, I get into trouble for eating too many bacon rolls and things, so just be careful everything you buy is monitored. Okay, so we'd now like to welcome Mr. Glyn Hambling, CEO of Unity Education Trust. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's lovely to be here, and of course, children, nice to see you. Quite a special time, isn't it? You're coming to have a look at uh, another journey. And it seems quite strange when you're only really just coming back into your year group. Uh, as you know, I am the CEO of Unity Education Trust. Unity Education Trust is a family of schools. That family was an original idea through Northgate High School and its other family members, and we've got 24 school sites across Northern. We cater for children from three to 19. We cater with children with complex needs and disabilities, children with mental health support, children who may be missing education, children who need support in a variety of different ways to be able to get back into the mainstream system, infants, nurseries, primaries, high school, of course, secondary, and of course, football academy. What does that mean? What does that really mean to you? Because you're here to look at Northgate. Well, I can tell you now that Northgate is a pivotal organisation within our family. And that family means that Northgate can also provide and draw lots of support from colleagues within other schools and other settings, which means we have a much wider group of people and professionals that can support your children. For me, as a parent, that's quite exciting because it means I can access the support I require, I can get the guidance that I require, and I clearly know that staff and the school are going to be engaging in collaborative working. That's fine from one point of view, but what does it sound it in? Well, unity is about us all doing things together and working together. Now, clearly, there's pathways for children through education, and it doesn't matter what school you've been in previously, that pathway through our education programme in this country means that you are going to be monitored and you're going to be looked after. But the key is, is what does this school offer you and what does Unity as a family offer you? And colleagues will be talking about that later tonight. I'm very proud to be associated with Northgate High School, the sixth form and DESA. There's a lot that they have to be proud of that they're achieving. And certainly from my point of view, is very much a school of choice and it's somewhere where my own children have been educated and moved on to. So I want you to go around this evening and have confidence in the structure that we provide as a family of schools and understand that part of that is also what you are going to add to that family should you and your children come and join it. So I do really hope that you have a wonderful evening, ask as many questions as you possibly can, that's the whole idea of tonight and get a real feeling for the school and ask those really delving questions that you want to do. I wish you all the very best. We will be um, in the main canteen area for anybody to come and talk to us about the role and what we do and how we support the school. Uh, the Director of Education, Mr Mason, 
both of us previously head teachers of this school and um, we'll be in the canteen later to, to catch you but please don't count how many, how many biscuits I have okay it's really important okay thank you very much I'm now passing over to you 11s thank you Good evening everybody and welcome to Northgate High School. I'm Emma and I'm head girl. I'd like to introduce our head boys Oscar and Milo and deputy head boy Dexter. We are all proud to stand before you to explain just a little bit about our school. But first, put your hands up if you're excited to be here tonight. Me too. Just think, one day some of you here now will be where we are tonight as your head students. So, what do we love about Northgate? Well, we're a close community with friendly and inspiring teachers who leave a positive, lasting impact on all of the students. Northgate offers a plethora of opportunities from the moment you join us at the end of Year 6 to the day you leave us at the end of Year 11. From my own experience, I can say that I've benefited from my impact. Your personal learning challenges will not interfere with the person that you want to be. The teachers and support given at Northgate will grant you all the help required to get you through both classwork and exams. I have dyslexia and I can struggle with English, but the advice and practical support I've been given has made me fall in love with the subject. Over the years, Northgate has given us all a real sense of belonging. Every one of us settled into Northgate at different rates. Some of us settling in almost immediately, whilst others took a little longer to adapt to the high school environment. Either way, there is always a strong support system for our New Year 7s. We are a community amongst the wider community. From the heads of school to the head of year, from form tutors and subject teachers to the prefects helping at break and lunch times, Year 7 students will be supported. We are also guided and challenged to become the best versions of ourselves that we can be. We know that if you choose Northgate, you'll become a part of our community too. And as a diversive learning community, Northgate has three key precepts. Progressive, inclusive and ambitious. These values guide our day-to-day -day life. This ambition is shown in our academic philosophy. Lessons are designed around our learning cycle, where information is explained, modelled and scaffolded. We then practice and assess skills and knowledge. Through flight paths and minimum target grades, students always know where they are with their work and what steps to take to achieve even more. Throughout my years at Northgate, I've submerged myself in the opportunities available to me. Although I'm still not fully sure what I want to do post-16, I've been given ideas. I have a spark of interest for looking, under, uh, looking after underwater ecosystems by becoming a marine biologist. It has given me great pride to have been part of the numerous eco activities in which Northgate has been a part of. I suggest getting involved as much as possible because who knows where there's opportunities for lead you in the future. And we all have different ambitions. I'd like to become a primary school teacher helping the future generation. I'm trying to decide between a career in the performing arts or law. I'm trying to find a career in computing, but I'm unsure where I would like to be. We know that wherever we want to go, Northgate has given us the right foundations to get there. Throughout your time at Northgate, you too will have so many opportunities to grow, both in terms of your education and your life skills. In addition to the wide and diverse range of clubs on offer, we have our school councils, where every student has the chance to make their voice heard. Northgate has presented at the Norfolk Show, our students have won local writing competitions, we have been part of the Norfolk and Norwich Eco Awards and the Erasmus funded project. Within this project, the group including Milo, Emma and I went to Italy, where we met with students from schools in Germany, Italy, Spain and the UK to discuss the future of the climate crisis. We also met prominent local figures and a professor from the University of Trento in Italy. We are truly an international school. In addition, we are part of the Earth Summit team. Myself and Milo went to Sweden last year for an international climate summit. We have also attended many climate workshops. At Northgate, we are passionate about taking an active part in tackling the climate crisis. We have recycling schemes, we have a plastic recycling machine on site, and we set homework online to prevent excessive paper use. We are always open to new ways in which we can help the environment, and we cannot wait to see what sort of ideas our New Year 7s will come up with. We really hope that you've been given an insight into the reasons why we are so proud of our school and that you enjoy your evening and everything Northgate has to offer, both today and for your future. Thank, Thank you. you. And now, we would like to hand over to our amazing new Year 7s. I'm Karen. 
My name's Lottie. And I'm Millie. Welcome, Welcome to, to Northgate. Northgate. Choosing your high school can seem like a hard decision, but honestly it's not. Our school offers endless opportunities, both in lessons and outside of class. It was easy for me to choose my high school. My heart went straight to Northgate. Now, we've been at Northgate for nearly three whole weeks, but it feels like we've been here forever. My favourite subject is science, because of how nice my teacher is. We've been learning about the brain and memory. I don't really have a favourite. All the teachers are great. As soon as we reach the door, you're always great to smile. As well as learning my subjects, I've also learned to find my way around the school. I am more comfortable. I'm more confident with asking for help when I need it, and I feel more independent. Transition starts as soon as you hear you have your place. You will receive lots of information in the post, such as which house you're in, your uniform details, and important things like menus for the school cafeteria. Mrs Graves, our Head of Year 7, will visit you at your school, either virtually or in person, to answer any questions you might have. There is also an evening for parents where you can learn about all the research our teachers base our learning and lessons on. Then, in July, you'll come to your transition days. You experience a typical school day with lessons and new subjects with your new teachers. On our second day, we enjoy the CSI day, learn about fingerprints, crime scenes, and DNA. Then, a few weeks later, we also had the chance to attend summer school. It was a great experience for us. At summer school, we did some work, played team building games, and met new people. That's how we met. We've been friends ever since. I remember waiting throughout the whole summer holidays to start in Northgate. The days seemed to drag on and on until finally there was just one day to go. I couldn't sleep. When my, alarm ra when my alarm rang the next morning, I jumped out of bed and into my new uniform. After posing for my mum's endless photos, it was finally time to go. I rushed into school, then questions filled my head. What if I got lost? What if people were mean? But all that stopped when I saw the teachers welcoming faces. I went into the hall and when I left that day, I was so excited to go back the next day. Ever since I joined Northgate, I've been pounded with opportunities. I've taken many, such as this one now, speaking to you this evening. We have a reward system called Merits. You can earn merits by completing good homework, trying your best in class, and being a good Northgate role model. Every week there is a merit shop in the hall where you can cash in your merits for rewards. There are 27 clubs at lunchtime and after school. I have joined drama and I'm excited to join more as the term continues. There are so many things to look forward to when you join a club. If you like football, there's a football club. If you love dance, there's a dance club. If you love reading and writing, there's a literary society, a novel bunch, a buccaneers and a manga club. And if you love films, there's a cinemaniacs and an interfilm club. There really is something for everyone. And the great thing about this is, is that all the clubs are completely free. Just sign up. At Northgate, people have welcomed me and supported me. I've been challenged in all my lessons to do my best, and I believe this has made me a strong student. So we hope that you choose Northgate. Then you can become a part of our ambitious community too. Thank you for listening. Okay, um, quite, quite touching really, listen to them, that's all their own words. Um, I think in a time when the news is full of quite depressing down things, to work with young children like this, it's really an honour for us. Um, so, I'm sure you'll agree, it takes an enormous amount of courage to stand here and do this, whether you've been here for four weeks, like the year sevens, or in your fifth year now as year elevens. So if we just give them another round of applause. <laughs> imagine that for us as heads, before we decide on what we are going to say to you this evening, we have a lot of discussions and drafts and we think about how we're going to get across our key messages to you in just a few short minutes. And you will probably be going to a few of these open evenings and every head you see is going to stand here and say, yes, we're a fantastic school, you know, come and join our community. And we will do the same because we passionately believe that, don't we? But we are trying to distill what we really think is special about Northgate in a few short points. Okay. So the, the first is that year six is unparent. You, you'll be safe at Northgate. And as Milo has said already, you'll be treated as an individual. You'll mature and grow from an 11 year old right up to 16 years old, perhaps even be an adult when you leave if you join our sixth form. Parents and carers, uh, we've both been through this quite a few times, we've got our own children and families, um, and we know it's a really, really big step. If this is your first child into high school, it's a really big decision. 
So this evening is about asking questions. We are available all evening. If you don't get to see us and you have questions, please contact school. Please come back and speak to us and have an appointment. We have nothing to hide and we will answer any questions you have. So what is it then that for us makes Northgate so special and different from other schools in our eyes? Well, it's something we think called teacher efficacy, which some of you may or may not have heard of. It's, it's a phrase coined by a researcher called James Hattie, who has spent the last 35 years looking at what works in education throughout the whole world, literally. Um, and he's put it together in a meta-analysis. And teacher efficacy is something that we believe we have here at Northgate. Essentially, it's a fancy term for do the staff believe in the children? Do they believe that they can make a difference to children and young people's lives? And we get a lot of visitors through the school, and the comment we get more than anything else is about the excellent relationship between pupils and staff. But again, as I said earlier, please don't just take our, way for, uh, our word for it. We just want to share with you um, something that two visitors who came to the school said to us this year. Their names are Dr. Graham and Dr. Penberg. And they said this, we came away with a sense of a school deeply devoted to building a culture that is responsive and caring. A school where to become educated means learning to also develop the qualities of becoming a good human being. It is in that atmosphere of high expectations academic and social and emotional, that the most profound teaching and learning happens. And that's what we also believe, and we were glad that they recognised it when they came. Okay. Um, Milo, again, I think has said this in Year 7 is about school council, but you truly do, Year 6, when you come here, you have a voice. We do listen to you, okay? We're not just saying it this evening. Our school council are amazing, and they change things in the school and in our wider community. We're really proud of school council. Anyone can be in the school council. You might have one at your primary school, junior school, where you get voted or the teacher picks somebody. Every single person can go and join school council and have their voice and their opinion listened to. We have lots of other ways of communication and voices. Our year 12s and 13s from sixth form, they have a coaching program with year sevens, and they work with year sevens to look at their ultimate goal, we call it. What's their ambition when they want to leave school? Where do they want to head? and what do we need to put in place to help them. You'll have your daily uh, lesson sorry, with your form tutor, your head of year, and we have non-teaching staff as well. So we have an emotional well-being officer, a designated safeguarding lead, a school liaison officer, and an inclusive practice lead. And as we said about listening, please don't feel if you are out of catchment that this is not school for you. Just this week, Connect Buses have changed their route to include those who live around the Watton area. And again, we listen to your feedback about what you want and what you need for us. And we will, if it's within our power to do so, we will work with you to create the school that you will want. Um, one of the recent developments that we have undertaken, and you may have seen that we have become a university accredited laboratory school. That's not easy to say. And what that means basically is our curriculum and everything we do is based on research. From, as you heard the children say, how the brain works, they've already been learning about that in year seven, um, to the learning cycle that is up in every classroom. And that really is at the heart of what we do because we're not complacent. Dr. Hone and I don't think up strategies for our staff to do. We make sure that it's based on research and we make sure that we, as teachers and senior leaders, are also committed to lifelong learning. Okay, so in summary, we get to the end, okay? Um, we really hope that you've picked up how proud we are of our school at Northgate High School and the message that the children have given so far. You'll see lots, lots more of that throughout the evening. This is a place where your child will be safe, where they can be themselves and be an individual. They'll have many, many opportunities to get involved in many things. They'll be stretched and challenged academically. Look on the performance tables at the DfE, look at exam results. We know we will stretch and challenge. And our teaching is based, as Mrs. Galley said, on research and above all, high levels of teacher efficacy. Just before you go, can I see Year 6 give me a wave, please? Where are you? Lovely, fantastic. 
This evening is about you. We're talking to your parents, but really, this is about you and your choices. Please have a great time when you go around this evening. You can choose to have a guide or not, as Dr. Home will explain in a moment. But really, ask lots of questions. Get excited about this perhaps being your school in September. We've got a brilliant summer school and lots and lots going on, so we hope to see you all soon. Okay, if I could just have your attention for one minute. Um, talking about feedback and listening to people, 